After a roughly six year long stay in the Philippines, dozens of containers of Canadian garbage are coming back home. Reuters television reporting the waste was loaded onto a cargo ship today north of Manila before making a stopover in China. And then it will now sail to its final destination, which is the Vancouver International Port. The journey to Vancouver expected to take 20 days. Greenpeace was there for the send off, tweeting, This is the ship that will carry the waste back to Canada. This is us reminding the world that the Philippines is not the world's dump site. Protesters in the Philippines today holding signs saying good riddance to the trash, the subject of a years-long rift between Manila and Ottawa. The waste was sent to the Philippines from Canada by a private company for recycling in 2013 and 2014, but it couldn't be recycled because it included household trash like diapers. Tensions recently escalated over the dispute with Manila pulling its top diplomats out of Ottawa and the Philippine president threatening to go to war if the issue was not resolved. Last week, the federal government formally announcing plans to bring back the waste and explaining in 2016, Canada amended its regulations to prevent future exports of such material without a permit. Canada is also looking at ways to hold the responsible parties to account. But there's more trash to deal with. This week, Malaysia became the second Asian nation to demand that Canada take back its garbage. More than a dozen other countries, including Australia, the U.S. and Japan, are also included in that request. In the Philippines today, a Greenpeace director calling the so-called waste trade unacceptable. It is a deplorable practice that a lot of countries, especially in the global north, do um, to get rid of the waste that they cannot process in their own countries. So wherever waste trade happens, um, it impinges on human rights of the people who accept the waste. Environment and Climate Change Canada telling City News that the shipment from the Philippines is expected to arrive in Vancouver at the end of June. After that, it will be disposed of at a waste-to-energy facility in Burnaby.